Hey witchy friends! So, today I thought I would do a video on altars since I get so many questions asked. I did my nails. Ah! Um, <laughs> but I get so many questions as an atheist secular witch. Why do you have an altar? Like, I thought altars were just for uh, for people who had deities and stuff like that. And then each video, every time I'm like, no, it's probably more common for witches who follow deities and stuff like that to have an altar rather than a secular witch. Um, so I thought that I would just go about and talk about what is an altar, what is an altar to me, um, how I use my altar, what is on my altar, um, and some things you would traditionally find on most witches' altars. So, let's get on with <laughs> So, Stefan, what is an altar? So, to me, uh, and to most people, if not all people, a altar is a place to honor uh, and show appreciation and for either deities, uh, your higher self, your guides, uh, ancestors, stuff like that. So those are just a, different, a few different types of altars. Me personally, the way I use my altar is my altar is for my spirit guides. And also, which this may seem, seem odd, but the spirits that I work with, um, people who have passed on, stuff like that, my altar is also to honor them. Um, so that's just uh, one way that I use my Now, I now have two. And you, that's another thing. You don't have to have any altars. Altars is not a necessity. Um, so if you're still in the broom closet, as I like to say, um, don't feel like you have to have an altar. Uh, if you're not in the broom closet, don't feel like you have to have an altar. An altar is something that is a hundred percent up to you. I know a lot of witches who are like, I don't want an altar. I don't need an altar. Um, me personally, I didn't have an altar for the longest time. Uh, I was in the broom closet for about five to six years. Um, and then when I came out, I did not came out of the broom closet. Uh, I didn't have an altar right away. Um, I didn't have an altar until I was felt led to have an altar. So it's not like you're a witch, you have to have an altar. Um, I even know a few, um, witches who are, they work with deities, but they don't have an altar. They, their deities do not ask for one, nor does their practice require one. Uh, so that, that's just hopefully nips that little thing in the bud. Um, but as I said, me personally, I now have two altars. Um, one is a private altar that is strictly for my guides, my higher self, and for the spirits that I channel and work with the most. Um, but I also have another altar right here. Um, it is new. I got it, um, I got it a couple of days ago and I was led specifically to this location and as soon as I walked in I was led directly there's like a magnet that pulled me to this uh, pulpit it was horrendous it was an abomination it was so bad they had painted it red with white accents it was horrible <laughs> like straight up horrible so I got it it was 75%, no, no, it was 50% off because it had been there for uh, two months. And oh my God, I got it. And I was like, what do I do? Ask the witchy friends, what do I do? I need some input. And so I spray painted it black. Um, so it's glossy all the way around. Plus it's easier to clean up. If anything gets on it, I can just wipe it up. But the top, the top is charcoal. Um, like, um, what do you call it? <laughs> like, um, chalkboard, chalkboard paint. Um, that way I can make notes. I can make sigils. Um, I'll show it to you in a second. Um, but yes, uh, I can draw sigils. I can write notes down. This is where I'll be doing some videos from for TikTok. This is where I'll be doing a lot of my practice because my altar is actually in this far corner over here. You can't see it, but it's in the far corner over there. And it's where, um, it's, in, uh, it's a giant cabinet and it, I got it from a thrift store 
and it's amazing. It's beautiful. Um, at the top of it is my herbology stuff. Below is like storage, is where I have a bunch of candle stuff that's trickled out <laughs> through my witchy room. I'm a firm believer that a dirty witchy room is a witchy room that is used. <laughs> Because I think we all secretly want to have that witchy aesthetic where it's like everything's perfect and every time I get done using this herb or that crystal or every time I use my wand, I'm going to put it directly back in the same spot and it just doesn't happen. It doesn't happen, especially if you're like me and I start so many projects when I haven't finished other projects. <laughs> so I will show you my new altar. My witchy room's dirty, so just forgive me. Um... Just remember there's a few things missing off this because I set them aside because I want to show y'all some things that are typically on an altar, at least on my altars. So here we go. Okay, so the sides, uh, see it's all kind of slick black. This is all, all of it was red, like rum red and kind of red. And the little details right here were in white. It was god awful. But I got my storage here. I think I'm going to add another shelf right here and paint that black, of course, if I can find the same trimming. Um, I might put a curtain right here with a tinted rod. Under here is where my miniature cauldron usually fits, and it fits perfectly. There's not even a playing card I could put in between. It's perfect. And then I have the top is charcoal. My husband read me to filth because he's like, that is the worst star I've ever seen. He said, you're a witch. I'm like... Excuse me, does not just because I'm which does not mean that I automatically know how to draw stuff. I'm still a crappy like hand artist. Like my art is building things, making things, not drawing things. That is not a strategy. That is not a strength that I have. I've tried. I can't. Just mm. that's why I use a Saturn sigil uh, grid for my sigils instead of freehanding them. <laughs> so this actually is my my personal wand that I make because I make wands yay um this tarot card is specifically for this altar long story I might make a video about it one day and then a sterling silver chain going across the top as a blessing of course I always have my candles um love those um and then I keep some herbs on the side um also a um, incense holder would be sitting on this side. Uh, I can clean it up. <laughs> so now that we have seen the altar, my working, that's what I'm going to call it. That's my, this is my working altar. My other one is strictly for uh, my guides, my higher self, and the spirits that I personally work with. Um, so this is my working altar. That's more my meditation um, altar. Um, so that one does get used. Trust me. I use it every day. Uh, but this one's going to get probably a little bit more use out of, um, because I have so much stuff, so much stuff in my witchy room, uh, projects like that. I have two sewing machines in here. I don't know why I only need one. I have a book binding machine that's on top of the dining table. Um, oh God, I'm looking at my, y'all are sitting behind a mirror. Uh, so I'm just trying to see, I have a record player. I have my fish tank. I just got my huge cabinet over there. Like, it's just literally so much. So, it's kind of harder to fully get uh, to that until after I get done with some of the projects I have. Because uh, that sewing machine is huge. And that's not even the one I use. So. <laughs> um, but, I thought now we could go over some things that are typically on a witch's altar. And just before <laughs> y'all uh, see this, I'm sure y'all already know, I am a budget witchcraft supporter. I'm poor. Like, I'm broke. Um, I haven't worked in a year and a half, and so I am living off my Etsy um, and what my husband works. Uh, but let's show some things. I just wanted to give that disclaimer because so many people get so upset when you're like, that's not enough today. But... Um, I have what I use as an athame on my altar. Uh, this is not a very sharp knife. It, it was once upon a time. Um, but, I mean, I could sharpen it back up. But this, uh, I prefer an actual knife over an athame for the simple reason of I handcraft wands. And this knife, this athame, honey knife, whatever you want to call it, is, and I have enchanted it. So when I make 
my wand, this one is still in progress. This is my obsidian one. It's obsidian core, it's beautiful. And here's my gold one. This is a finished product. It's gold on the tips, gold on the base. Ugh, I just love making wands. And of course, my one that's on my altar right now. Um, but I like to carve it with this. Um, and then I don't actually let any of the uh, shavings go to waste. I actually collect them and I'll burn them in my cauldron or I'll burn them under the full moon uh, as a way of mother nature. I, I don't go out and harvest, like just get any old stick or any old wood. It has to come to me organically, naturally. And then I ask for permission before I take it. And there's been a few things it's like, can I have this? And it's like, well, mother nature, like, well, you have to... You know, the universe, like, you have to do this first. Clean up your yard. Clean up this. Do th this for the um, for nature. And, yes. So, um, for me, it's it's a very spiritual um, thing. It's not just finding some wood and whittling, you know. Um, so, each one is hand done. And um, I burn uh, them under the full... I burn the, um, the remainders, whatever you want to call it of the bark and excess wood under the full moon as an offering to mother nature's as my way of giving back what i did not need uh, hope that makes sense um but you may find a witch's wand and none of these things are necessity these are strictly things that i have acquired over my time of being a witch um Another thing to um, I'd like to say is that um, I personally think it's important to use what you have. Uh, use what you have around your house. Use your body. Uh, I mean, a wand is great for dr helping direct energy and stuff like that, or in ceremonies and rituals. It's great. But if you learn by only directing your, your focus and your energy with using something... I feel like it's, you know, if you wear a back brace for too long, uh, your body gets used to relying on that instead of your actual back muscles and your muscles start to atrophy. Um, I feel like it's kind of like that. Um, there's nothing wrong. I use one. I, I use this one is mine. Um, and this is how the wood naturally was, but I did a, a technique on it where it kind of looks like antlers. I think it's awesome. It fits my hand perfectly, and it's beautiful, gorgeous. I love it. But sometimes I don't use it because I want to continuously practice on channeling and focusing my energy without needing something. So are they necessary? No. Are they great? Yes. Uh, do you have to use one every time? No. That's just my personal take on the situation. Something else you might find on a witch's altar is bells. I love bells. Bells, um, I am hearing impaired. Um, I have a hard time hearing certain frequencies. Uh, I have a hard time hearing, actually, actually have a harder time hearing women because their voice is usually at a higher octave. And it just, it sounds muffled and it just it doesn't I can't hear it that good but bells and wind chimes is the most beautiful sound to me because it's very easy for me to hear so you might find bells this one is a sterling silver because this is a patine I love allowing silver to naturally age um it is beautiful I love it uh, also, a good way to find out if you have something that's a uh, real silver, look on the bottom. It should say 925 on the bottom. And that's simply because in order for it to be considered sterling silver, it has to be 92.5%. In order to be considered, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, I believe I read that somewhere. Um, but bells, obviously, you're going to find, especially on my altar. Something else that is on my altar, let me show you this because it's about to burn out. Incense. And I have some incense burners. Um, I have ones that you uh, that are like it's a metal feather, and you stick it in. It's beautiful. I got this. It's one of those overflow ones. I hate it. I am hot natured. I always have a fan going, so you're never going to have that um, 
river of smoke if you have any sort of wind or anything going in your direction. And basically, this is just an incense um, metal holder. Um, and I put it inside of a jar that used to have a candle in it. Um, it collects it, and I just take the stick out and put a new one in the next day. Um, so this is what I mean by budget. Because um, use what you have. I love, I hate when people throw away, especially witches. I hate seeing videos of people getting rid of old stuff, like literally just throwing it away. And not donating or giving it a second purpose. Just because something old does not mean that it doesn't have a uh, purpose. And I mean this with items and people. Just because someone is older or disabled or someone that does not mean they have less value. Does not mean that they're not worth anything anymore. So I think the number one, I think one of the only rules of witchcraft is use what you have. Uh, there's really no rules of witchcraft, but I always say there's no rules but one, use what you have. Uh, which is thousand years ago we're not going out spending fifteen hundred dollars on moldavite earrings so just take that as you will if that offended some i meant step on your heart and not your feet sorry about that another thing that i like to keep on my altar is this uh sterling silver bowl it's starting to patine you can see it's starting to patine a little bit um and it's just a bowl of crystals now every crystal i have except for my two selenite wands. My two selenite wands are the very first stone um, crystal I ever bought, ever. It was at a metaphysical shop with my friend Debbie. And the other ones came to me. Um, whether it was like this one, or this one, it's beautiful. Um, those came as free gifts when I bought stuff from metaphysical shops. This one, my best friend Debbie, I don't know if I already showed this one, uh, my best friend Debbie gave me. And the other ones, came to me as people given to me as presents or my husband finds really cool rocks and things we can't identify like uh, in parking lots and stuff like that and he brings them home to me also people donate the craziest stuff to his work these are different types of a gate this one kind of looks like mars because of the storm um the green one is my husband's favorite um, I have shells in here that mean a lot to me, um, which I might do a whole video on shells. There's like so many people that people don't know what they're missing out by not using shells. Um, so basically that's the crystal. I don't own a lot of crystals. I feel like if I need something, it'll come to me. And if it doesn't come to me, then I really probably don't need it in that moment something else and i'm so sorry i'll make i'll try to speed more through this uh no one wants to watch a 35 minute video of me so we've gone over our crystals we've gone over our bells we've gone over our wands our athames and then here's another budget friendly cauldron to all my witches out there this is one of those fat candles um stands you can find these at thrift stores. I found this at a thrift store for $2. Uh, I got this. I got home, and I was so excited uh, because it fit my ca my cauldron. <laughs> we'll get to that in a second. Uh, but you can get these at Walmart, TJ Maxx, somewhere really cheap. Make sure it it's, uh, fits within your measurements of your Dutch oven. They had these at Lidl, Lidl, I don't know what you call it, a grocery store, um, and I think it's like a five, ooh, there's stuff in this, five quarts. Um, it's not going to rust on you. Uh, that's stuff from like offerings and spells. But it fits perfectly in the middle. And this is how it sits on my octor. Awesome. Uh, the stand was $2 at a thrift store. Uh, this uh, miniature Dutch oven, which is around five quarts, um, was $12 at the store awesome um something else that is usually on a witch's altar it's uh divination tools um um it could be dowsing rods it could be um dice it could be runes it could be tarot or oracle cards um i don't know if i can show these on, on youtube um this is the mas divine masculine uh tarot deck the gay divine masculine one um, that's the 
back cover. That that's nothing compared to what the whole cards look like. And I have the Zodiac. This was a present from my husband. They say a oracle, a tarot deck, and an oracle deck should speak to you. I'm gay as fuck. This one speaks to me. <laughs> um, something else that is usually found. Let's see. Oh. Oh, a good one. Book of Shadows. And again, Book of Shadows is not something that you have to have. Um, I, I've always kind of had one for the most part. Uh, it just hasn't always been a physical book. Mine's like a little bitty book this thick. And uh, it's different from my grimoire. Um, my Book of Shadows is spells that I have done and the results of that spell. Or if I have a vision or dreams or something like that, I write it down in that. That way I can go back. Or... I tape it on a uh, tape player that I have in my apothecary cabinet. Um, actually, my tape recorder is one of my is one of my favorite things in my whole entire craft. Um, I love it so much. It's something so mundane that most people wouldn't even have in their house anymore. But it's legitimately my favorite part of my craft. Um, so you'll find uh, tools of divination. You'll find a cauldron. Sometimes you'll find bells. Sometimes you'll find incense. You'll find candles. Y'all saw the candles I like to have. Um, different things. Now, like I said, this is me. This is my practice. Um, so, what do you have on your altar? Uh, do you have an altar? Do you want an altar? Um, if so, what did you start out in the craft with? Uh, what was your first divination tool? That's a good question. What was your first divination tool? Uh, for me, my first divination tool was a tarot deck. Actually, that is a lie. It was a pendulum. I love my pendulum. Uh, her name is Persephone. Um, as I said, I'm a secular witch. I do not work with deities. Uh, but I had um, my husband. Uh, I went and got that at with my friend Debbie at a, a metaphysical shop that we did an energy class at. It was amazing. And um, my best friend Debbie pulled it a uh, picture. Show, uh, pointed it out and I picked it up and as soon as I put it in my hand this thing started vibrating in my hand physically vibrating and the lady shop owner she looked, walked over and looked she said that's how you know it's for you so I got that and the only name that kept getting whispered in my ear was Persephone and I was like I don't know what Persephone I've never heard the term Persephone what what kind of name is that I did not know anything about that and then I was like all right and I did a reading when I was like is your name do you want your name to be Persephone it said yes several times because I'm like, where am I getting this? I don't even know how to spell Persephone. And I looked it up and she's a goddess. And I'm like, did not know that. Um, but, um, so yeah, what what is something that you like to have on your altar? Or what is something that you love to have in your witchy space or where you keep your witchy stuff? Um, thank you all for the love, the support, my Etsy store. If you are interested in anything, um, is listed in my link tree in my bio um thank you again i i literally um did a uh, or filled, filled an order yesterday and i was like this is awesome because the sweetest things that people are saying to me and the way that people are receiving my art and the way that it's not getting misconstrued it's not looking like a money grab y'all are getting these things and you're feeling the energy the intention the the power that i put into these things and y'all y'all are just so sweet and i'm not a bitch you cannot take criticism um as always if there's an issue let me know uh but i know i should in my last one but since i got more stuff over here i do want to show um, unfortunately, I was supposed to go to Pagan Pride Festival, and as long as everything goes good, I am. Uh, but, uh, COVID-19 cases seem to be on the rise, and if, um, it keeps going like this, they're probably going to have to cancel Pagan Pride Festival, which makes me sad. Um, but I completely, completely, completely understand, um, we gotta do what we gotta do to stay healthy, and keep from getting this mess. So... I'm still going to make more wands and stuff like that and maybe some exclusive items for that. But if we don't end up going, I might just end up just listing them. And uh, I definitely still want to do a, pro, uh, a percentage of my sales for that week or that month that if we don't get to go there. 
um, to go towards their charity because they're missing out on a lot of money to go to this charity. A lot of food, a lot of cleaning supplies. Um, so that's what makes me sad. Um, not missing out on money and exposure and stuff like that. Like, yeah, I was a little bummed out, but the fact that these charities are not getting um, the money and stuff like that that they need. Uh, but I still, if we do not get to go, I still do plan on uh, donating a percentage of proceeds of the sales that I do in that month or maybe that weekend or something um, to go directly to them. Um, but here is my charm pillow. Uh, I still have a few. I still got one, two, three, four. And then I still have my um, magical melts. Um, I've decided on that name, Magical Melts. Um, you melt them, and there's surprises in them. Witchy surprises. And as always, I have my... I still have a few of the smaller scrub mirrors, because people are asking for s smaller mirrors. I gotta clean them. Uh, don't judge me. <laughs> and then I have these, and then I have a bigger one. And I have my wands, of course. I'm working on this one. This one, I've not done one shape like this yet. So I'm really excited to see how it turns out. Um, but I have kept y'all long enough. Thank you to anyone who is psychotic enough to watch me for 26 minutes and 20 seconds. Um, but we thank you. I love you. Um, please don't forget to just be nice to yourself. It's okay. It's okay. I, I realize that you think that you have fucked up. Um, but it's another day, another day, another chance to be better. And as long as what you want to do betters yourself in your eyes, that's fine. But if someone else, you want to better yourself so you look better in someone else's eyes, that is toxic. You do not need that person. So from your homosexual witch friend, I love you and I hope y'all have a blessed night and a great week. Um, I promise I'll try to get better at uploading a uh, schedule. But as always, blessed be and have a good night.